swinging by the channel, taking that time to check out my latest video. Uh, here tonight, I'm going to feature the St. Patrick's Day 2022 beer that I picked up. Now, I don't think I've ever really did a St. Patty's Day type of beer and released it on St. Patrick's Day. So this will be the first year that I'm doing that. And this is a 2022 release here. This here is one out of Listerman Brewing Company. Uh, Listerman is located in Cincinnati, Ohio. And this here is their Shamrock Shake Irish Cream Stout. So look at the artwork there. You just got the frothy Irish mug, the green color there. You got uh, eh, not a whole lot else on here. Uh, it says 5.5% alcohol by volume, if I didn't say that already. And Listerman Brewing Company, pretty simple, um, straightforward. Uh, let you know, hey, this is the uh, the St. Patty's Day release. Um, this was released late February, I believe. And it's, uh, when I'm recording this, it's like March 15th, I think, when I'm recording this one here. So this is maybe a month old at the oldest. When I picked it up, it was a new release at the bottle shop. They're in Dayton, Ohio, and typically their stuff is very fresh. So I'm going to say maybe it was two weeks old at the oldest when I picked it up there. And now I'm guessing this is under a month old. There's no date on the can, unfortunately, uh, anywhere, which sucks. But hey, it is what it is. So I'm going to use the old pint glass here tonight, the old J's, L's, and Lagers, and um, get a pour on this thing, see what it's all about. So while I am doing that, Think about becoming a subscriber. I would appreciate that. Got a little splatter on my hand. And uh, hit that notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see here. Oh, that's pouring out nice and got a nice chocolatey to it. Uh, chocolatiness to this right here. So we're going to pour it all in there. So 5.5%. That tells me it's not going to be a sipper. Sometimes it's nice to get a stout with a lower ABV. That's just not a sipper. Let me line that up a little bit better for you. And uh, hopefully this is that one right here, okay? So it looks like it's got decent carbonation in here. Just a frothy looking, uh, just over a finger of brown, just a brown head on top of this. There are some large, larger fisheye bubbles uh, in here, but it's very pillowy and uh, frothy looking. As far as the color there, as you can see right there, just dark uh, black to the color. Had an amber tint as I was pouring it, but it looks very much uh, that motor oil um, look here. Get a little mix up there. <clears throat> oh, that's a lot of chocolate right there. Hmm. I get it. Okay, so it's typical to, uh, it's got a sweet chocolate, it's a cream, you know, a creamy stout. Um, so there's like a sweet chocolatey presence in the aroma. But I also almost get that vibe of some mild vanilla. Roasted maltiness. I don't wanna say it's coffee, but it's just got a roast, roasted, almost a burnt maltiness to it. Hmm. It smells actually pretty good. So still got uh, some lacing going on there on the glass. Uh, still that brown head there. So I'm going to go ahead and get a drink on this. Okay. Very thin body. I get a almost a a dark burnt or ch uh, like a charred chocolatiness to this. Not all stouts have to be some big in your face, high ABV stout. This isn't that by any means. Right here, I get just, as I'm talking, you know, swallow that drink as I'm talking. I get just a ton. It's got a dry finish to it, but I get a ton 
of just, uh, you know, I'm breathing out dark chocolate, roasted chocolate, you know, charred chocolatiness to it. So thin bodied, crisp, it's refreshing. Um, is it a nice change of pace from a big ABV stout? It actually is. <clears throat> this is one you wouldn't have to worry about sipping away on. You could just drink it. Kind of like a Guinness, you know, you can just drink them, right? It does, in a way, put me in mind of a Guinness, you know, Guinness Irish style, but with just a lot more of a um, chocolate maltiness to it, like like charred chocolate malts in this thing. That's what I get. That's what I pick up a lot. There's some underlying flavors in here. I can pull a little bit of a sweet vanilla, um, some coffee out of it. To me, it's not crazy on the coffee or anything like that, but it's there. Do I like it better than a Guinness for a light Irish style? Probably, probably not. This is very good. Um, they're going for this uh, <clears throat> shamrock shake. But it's not thick, you know. With the name like shamrock shake, I would expect uh, a thicky, a thick, uh, boozier um, body to it. Just that shake body. And it's not there. But it is very good. It's very good. It's very drinkable. Um, I would have no problem actually down. It's just super easy drinking style is what it is. But I really like that um, that chocolate maltiness to it. That that's what I pick out the most. That's very in your face, uh, in my opinion. And I paid. Uh, I think this is like fifteen bucks for a four pack. I picked up like two loose cans of it. Um, I think it was I don't know three sixty plus tax or something per can. So very reasonable price for what it is. Not like you're paying, you know five or seven bucks something like that for a big stout decent price easy drinking um it's one that um i think if you're a guinness fan i think you could you could get behind this one here no problem so hey you're new to the channel hope you like what you've seen here and become a subscriber uh like always i appreciate the support i appreciate you watching be sure to drop a comment so i can uh, read them and interact with you thanks for watching